Brewster here with a new episode of Scales and Tails, and this is the Hybrid Pentatonic Scale Workout. And I've actually had this workout for a very long time, and it revolves around the Hybrid Pentatonic Scale. Now, we have talked about that scale in other videos and lessons on the channel, but this is something, you know, kind of different using that very common scale. And here's an image with eight, you know, legendary guitarists known for using the Hybrid Pentatonic Scale. So as far as the hybrid pentatonic scale, there's actually more than one, and we're actually combining elements from the minor pentatonic and major pentatonic scales together. And typically you might see a minor and major third, maybe minor and major sevenths, a flat five, ninths, or sixths, you know, additional notes added to that very common five note pentatonic structure. So the hybrid pentatonic we're going to use in this lesson, here it is in the key of E, right here. It's like the first octave of it right there. So right there you can see we've got E, G, and G sharp. So there's your minor and major third right there. That A is your fourth. That B flat right there is your flat five. B natural, of course, is your regular B, or the regular fifth. Uh, C sharp right there is your sixth. D right there is your flat seven. And then finally E again is your root. So right there. And we can expand that up in octaves, just connect them on the neck. You know, something like that. But that's definitely a very, uh, you know, interesting scale to play with. You probably wouldn't want to play it just like that, just straight up that scale, because it really just starts to sound almost chromatic, you know, when you play it like that. So I'm going to talk about this and kind of show you how you can actually sequence and musically use that very complicated scale right there. So to make this scale a little bit more musical, let me show you the sequence I used for the workout, like what I played during the opening of this video. And that's going to kind of show you how you can approach using that eight note scale in a more musical way. So instead of just ascending like we did earlier, just straight up the scale, let's start at the top and descend. And I'm going to show you that little sequence that I used for this workout, like this. <laughs> And right there you can see I'm grabbing E, D, and C sharp, B, B flat, and A, and then I grab that G and shift it into the major third to that G sharp right there. And then do that in every octave. So we got it here, and then right there, and then right there. And you can basically decide how you want to end that. You can end it with the low E open right there. You could end it with this fretted E right there. Or you may have noticed during the opening there I played a harmonic at the top. However you want to end that, but that's definitely a musical sounding sequence using that kind of expanded hybrid pentatonic scale. So for the full hybrid pentatonic scale workout, which is what I played at the beginning of this video, I actually moved it through a 5-4-1 progression in E, or E7. So that's B7, A7, E7. And I basically started that sequence that I just showed you in E, right here. But I actually start it way up here in B7. So your first note right there is B, and you're just going to descend using that same sequence right here. And then down an octave, and then down another octave. So that B7 area right there. And then right there, start on A and do A7 descending. The exact same thing you did in B, just a uh, whole step lower. So here's B7. Here's A7. And then right there, just hop over to the high E string, and now you're ready for E7 right there. And here's the complete exercise.
All right, that's going to wrap this episode of Scales and Tails with this look at the hybrid pentatonic scale workout. And there's a lot of other things you can do with the scale other than just descending with this pattern I just showed you. I would highly recommend make your own sequences and kind of patterns using the scale and see what comes out. You might grab like some Steve Morse kind of inspired ideas or maybe Eric Johnson or somebody. But there's plenty of guitarists out there, a lot more than the eight that I showed earlier, that have definitely tackled, you know, using the scale. And it's really interesting because your ear hears all those additional tones and passing tones. You know, there's chromaticism happening here. Really interesting. It's a lot more than just playing a basic five note pentatonic scale. You're definitely hinting and implying modal tonalities and these kind of different sounds way more than just a regular pentatonic scale. And all these additional notes to the pentatonic scale really do kind of shake up the sound and really deliver this very unique and interesting flavor that you can hear in lots of different guitarists' music and playing styles. So definitely hybrid pentatonic is very interesting and very important to investigate. So dive in. So anyway, leave some feedback and comments. Please subscribe and lay out lessons, and I'll be back before you know with more content and material. Thank you.